Welcome back. Now that you have completed your mosaic and it has been allowed to dry for at least 24 hours, it is time to grout. In your kit, you received a container, a white container, and inside that container is a, is a bag with black sanded grout, labeled grout. You also received a pair of disposable gloves. To get your surface ready, you will need some old newspaper. All right, let's get started. Empty your grout into your mixing container and make sure you have your gloves on. I always add water from a small container. When you mix grout, you want it to be thick like cookie dough. I start with a very small amount of water and then I just use my fingers to stir. Just like when mixing the thin set, you always want to keep some dry powder back in case it's too wet. Okay, so I'm mixing it together. Now look at that, I did the exact thing I warned you about. This is a little too soupy and wet. So what I am going to do is add a little bit more of my powder to thicken it up. I'm adding just a small amount. Glove back on and mix. All right, that's more like it. Now you can see I have a thick cookie dough-like consistency. I'll set it up on my mosaic so you can kind of see, okay? When you squish it, it should hold the imprint of your fingers. Now for the fun part. You'll just use your fingers to rub the grout all over your mosaic. You want to push down slightly because you want that grout to fill in all the gaps. It looks like a big mess, but we'll take care of that shortly. I always pick up the pieces that fall off the edges and use those. When it comes to grouting mosaics, dark colors of grout are often the best choice. I use black grout on almost all of my mosaics. It really makes the mosaic image pop. Then what I do is I rub the grout along the edges to just kind of get it in those sides. Once you start grouting, you don't want to stop what you're doing and go make dinner or go answer any emails. It gets very, very hard as it dries up and sets. So once you get your grout on, you need to be prepared to spend about 10 or 15 minutes to finish your project. All right, that looks pretty good. If I missed any spots, I can go back when I clean it off. All right, so now that looks like a pretty big mess, doesn't it? Now I take a crumpled up newspaper. Never use anything wet to clean the grout off your mosaic. And I'm just going to rub with a decent amount of pressure to clean the grout off my mosaic. I always think it's so fun to see how it changes. Now you can see I have some areas like there and there where there was a little bit of a height difference between my glass and my mirror. So I grabbed a skewer from my kitchen. You could also use something like a popsicle stick or a toothpick, really anything where you can just get in there and clean out those edges. See how I'm just kind of going down there and cleaning that out. Sometimes you go somewhere to clean it out and you realize there wasn't any tile there. Then you just patch it up. Now, what happens if a piece comes loose while you're grouting? Well, it happens. I hope it doesn't happen to you. But if it does, find any kind of glue, quick drying glue that you have around your house. Maybe you have some liquid nails or some silicone caulk. 
or something else that you can use. Put a dab on the back of the piece, replace it, and hold it down with your finger while you grout to round it. It usually works just fine to patch a piece that way. All right, and as you can see, I am almost done. Now I'll need to spend a few more minutes just cleaning it off and brushing it off. When you're done with your grout, you never throw it, put it in the sink. You always just throw the whole container into the garbage. All right, I think I'm pretty satisfied with that. It will shed for a day or two, but as that grout really hardens, it will stop doing that. All right, and there you have it. You have learned how to grout your finished mosaic. Thanks again for taking our mosaic class. Have a great day.